Hi and welcome to Operations with Integers. The purpose of this lecture is for you to learn the procedures in the Operations with Integers. First, describe the procedure for adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing integers with the same signs. Second, describe the procedure in adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing integers with unlike signs. So let us first define the terms used throughout the lecture. What is an integer? It is a whole number that is either greater than or less than zero. It can be visualized on a number line. Next, what is a number line? It is a line with arrow on both ends that show the integers with slash marks and goes to infinity in both directions, positive and negative. It uses a negative sign with negative numbers, but no positive sign in positive numbers. Zero is the origin and is neither negative nor positive. So the question is, what can we do to integers? Integers are numbers, so we can add, subtract, multiply, and divide them. Each operation has different rules to follow. Let's start with addition, adding rules with the same sign. If the integers have the same sign, add the numbers and keep the same sign. Positive plus positive equals positive answer. Negative plus negative equals negative answer. Examples, negative 3 plus negative 10 equals negative 13. Positive 6 plus positive 8 equals positive 14. So this is how it's done. Example number 1, negative 3 plus negative 10. Step 1, add the numbers 3 and 10 equals 13. Step 2, keep same sign. Both numbers are negative, so the answer is negative 13. Both numbers are negative, so the answer is negative. Example number 2, positive 6 plus positive 8. Step 1, add the numbers 6 and 8 equals 14. Step 2, keep same sign. Both numbers are positive, so the answer is positive 14. So now let's go to adding rules with different signs. If the integers have different signs, subtract the numbers and use the sign of the bigger number. If the bigger number is positive, it has a positive answer. If the bigger number is negative, it has a negative answer. Examples Negative 13 plus positive 7 equals negative 6. Positive 23 plus negative 8 equals positive 15. So here is a process. Example number 1, negative 13 plus positive 7. Step 1, subtract the numbers 13 and 7. So it's equal to 6. Step 2, use the sign of the bigger number. Bigger number is negative, so the answer is negative 6. Example number 2, positive 23 plus negative 8. Step 1, subtract the numbers 23 and 8 equals 15. Step 2, use the sign of the bigger number. Bigger number is positive, so the answer is positive 15. The second operation is subtraction, subtracting rules. First, Put an open and close parenthesis around second number and its sign. Second, change subtraction sign to an addition sign. Third, change sign of second number to its opposite and follow the rules of addition. Same signs, add and keep the same sign. Different signs, subtract and use sign of bigger number. Examples, negative 5 minus negative 10 equals positive 5. Positive 9 minus positive 23 equals negative 14. So let's check the process for examples number 1 and 2. Step 1, insert open and close parentheses to negative 10 and positive 23. Step 2, change subtraction sign to addition sign. Step 3, change the second sign, so it will become positive 10 and negative 23. Step 4, follow adding rules. So the final answer for number 1 is positive 5. And the final answer for number 2 is negative 14. The third operation is multiplication, multiplying rules. First, multiply the numbers like usual. Second, if integers have the same signs, answer will be positive. Third, if the integers have different signs, answer will be negative. Examples, negative 3 times negative 5 equals positive 15. Negative 9 times negative 10 equals positive 90. Negative 7 times positive 7 equals negative 49. Positive 6 times negative 6 equals negative 36. 
So now, let's check the answer by applying the procedures. Let's take example number 1 and number 2. First, multiply the numbers. 3 times 5 equals 15, 9 times 10 equals 90. They have the same signs, so they have positive answers, positive 15 and positive 90. Now, let's take examples number 3 and 4. First, multiply the numbers. 7 times 7 equals 49, 6 times 6 equals 36. They have different signs, so they have negative answers, negative 49 and negative 36. Now let's go to the last operation, which is division, dividing rules. First, divide the numbers like usual. Second, if the integers have the same signs, answer will be positive. Third, if the integers have different signs, answer will be negative. Examples, negative 33 divided by negative 3 equals positive 11. Negative 90 divided by negative 10 equals positive 9. Negative 20 divided by positive 2 equals negative 10. Positive 6 divided by negative 6 equals negative 1. So now, let's check the answers using the procedure. Let's take examples number 1 and 2. First, divide the numbers. Negative 33 divided by negative 3 equals positive 11. Negative 90 divided by negative 10 equals positive 9. They have the same signs, so they have positive answers, positive 11 and positive 9. Now, let's take examples 3 and 4. First, divide the numbers. 20 divided by 2 equals 10. 6 divided by 6 equals 1. They have different signs, so they have negative answers, negative 10 and negative 1. Now we are done with the lecture. I hope that you have learned something. See you in my upcoming lectures.